this, eh? We finally got a squad of dinosaurs. A squad of living dinosaurs, not piles of dead bodies of dinosaurs. It's good. It's a good feeling. We've this like is the biggest squad we've had yet. We've got we got we got a good assortment here as well. We got we got these five guys, we got two pteranodons, we got a rhino, a theri, a giraffe, who's just kind of just chilling all the way up there in the sky not to mention this beautiful dude right here in my inventory as well a fish and yes i just uncryoed him in my base uh it doesn't it doesn't drown it doesn't die it might eventually um but it's above land and it's alive it, it's oxygen might be dying that's good yeah, so these guys survive outside of water, which is pretty sweet. I'm not going to leave them out of water. I feel like that's just cruel. You don't just drop a fish on dry land and expect it to enjoy itself. Uh, but things are looking great. Mainly, well, not mainly, but more free, more recently, due to the addition of this guy. We tamed him up at the end of yesterday's episode. Our lightning pteranodon right here. And I am excited to take this guy out for a spin and see what it can do. Because if you don't know what lightning dinosaurs do, I'm about to tell you. We're going to go flying around and knock some stuff out and tame it of course that is the eventual outcome every single time yeah so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be cool i hope that this thing absolutely annihilates anything we touch but before we head out if you do enjoy the video please go ahead punch that thumbs up and uh just a massive thanks to everybody who has been supporting the new series i'm having a blast with this can't believe it took me three years to come back to play the eternal mod but uh my goodness am i stoked also i'm gonna take this rhino out i completely forgot we like tamed you i haven't even tested you yet anyways I'll get to you eventually. For now, let's get ourselves a Pteranodon saddle. And also, I want to have a, another check to see if I can get a teleporter yet. Because I really want to get a teleporter. We can get a teleporter. Nice. Can I get a remote as well? Can I get a remote as well? No. Electronics? Really? Okay, that's a shame. Uh, but it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I basically just want like a quick way back to base if I need it. And now we got it. So that's cool. Uh, the electronics though. That part is a little bit more tricky because I just nearly walked off a cliff. Um, I don't have a fabricator or generator or any of that stuff just yet. Maybe I should look into that. I know that there are a bunch of structures in the Eternal mod that we haven't actually looked into just yet. Um, I wonder if they've got like a crystal converter. Oh, damn. That's expensive. Never mind. I don't need to look into that just yet. Uh, there's an Eternal Forge. Again, very expensive. Uh, power. Fuel. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy. For use in the Eternal Generator, this fuel never runs out. Eternal Indominus. Okay, we don't even have to read that. It doesn't matter. I need 30 for the... Okay, never mind. I can't get the special generator either. Uh, there is a mini vault. Death recovery. We trialed that. There's a DLC bench. I don't know what that is. Eternal Forge. We just already checked that there. It doesn't look like there is... Oh, the boss summoners. Oh, I can craft these. Okay, but uh, mm, God mode. That sounds kind of scary. All right, there's three. Okay, they, they, they only used to be one of those. Now there's three. Crafting, eternal egg and poop collector, eternal fertilizer. It doesn't look like there's a fabricator variant. So that's cool. I guess I'll just hop in here instead. We want to get us a spark powder. Oh, hello. Um, Can I get spark powder out of you, my little spoil and mortar? I'm assuming I can, right? I'll just need a little bit of flint. Grab that. Bam. And then we'll grab some stone. I don't actually know if this will work, but... Oh, this thing doesn't? Spoils, meat, fuss, and autocraft narcotics. As well as narco berries are added. Oh, okay. Spending paste. And, okay, spending paste, but not, not flint. Okay. Um, did I bring my mortar and pestle across? I, 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 yes, I did. Okay, good. All right, we'll just go and uh, drop this little fella down here. I'll chuck these in here. I just need 50 of these fellas. Give me 100. Whatever, skis. There we go and very very soon i'll be able to get my hands on this fabricator and with that another teleporter well at least a remote that'll let me teleport to and from the base now uh lucky we have placed a bunch of foundations i got plenty of room to place this thing uh unfortunately my big old runner's butt is just right in the middle of base making things a little bit tricky but it is what it is and now i don't have any fuel come on man just walk right under my rhino to get over here um i need some fuel i know i've got everything i need to make that happen i just need to grab a tiny bit of wood let that craft up we'll get ourselves our electronics we'll get ourselves our teleport and then it's finally time to take out my electric dude i can't wait i cannot wait just just power you up 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 we're wasting we're wasting gasoline right now 
whatever doesn't matter i don't even remember how many electronics i don't have silica pearls now are you kidding me i thought we did ah that's not good um i don't think that's enough to get me across the line is it no okay fine 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 all right whatever what happens if i bust this up Nope, no silica pearls out of that, unfortunately. But we did get a bunch of other stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we don't need metal, crystal, flint, stone, or obsidian for that. All right, it was worth a shot. Now, let's just take you out for a spin. If I got to teleport to base, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But for now, I just can't sit by any longer without knowing what this thing is capable of. So let's get zapping. All right, let's just start out with something simple, eh? instantly to sleep fantastic uh doesn't really help me do much but it's a sleeping triceratops right outside my base okay what else can we hit there is a poison hold on poison try it on let me just um let me get some speed and let me get some levels also i got three of my own levels too so let's get some health now i can actually read my screen elemental poison try it on dude this thing is oh this thing would go hard also, there's an eternal Anki next to it. Harvests, uh, Scorched Earth, and Aberration resources, as well as mod resources. Has a forge, cooker, crafting. That's actually a really good thing to craft. I, I need an eternal Ankylo. Eternal dinosaurs all have really cool functionalities. I thought I'd give it a crack to try and pick it up, but unfortunately, it wasn't going to happen. Um, but I can't just knock all these guys out, right? Can I do that? Can these guys, will these guys go to sleep if I hit them? All right, here we go. Here we go. Dude, this thing deals a ton of torpor. A hundred thousand torpor, I reckon. Um, all right, let's just put everyone to sleep then, shall we? Just everyone. Everyone go to sleep. It doesn't do much damage, which I guess is kind of a good thing. Also, don't stop. Stop. Actually, no, that's fine. That's fine. This is good. These guys surely can't hit my... They totally are hurting my Enki right now, aren't they? Oh. Some day day. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot how strong this thing here is. That will kill me. That will kill me. All right. This area is not as safe as I was hoping it would be. And now I kind of can't touch ground. That's really disappointing as a matter of fact. Eternal Prime Blood Jug Bug. Okay. I don't know what it does, but it's kind of intriguing. Uh, I can't do anything as long as that dodo's there. So the Anki is just going to have to sit there forever. However, this guy here has my attention now. Because if my dude can deal 100,000 Torpor, this guy's going to deal a lot more. It is a certified poison Pteranodon. If I go and bite you, let's have a look at what happens, yeah? How much... Will, will we deal all 150,000 Torpor off the one bite? Because... Oh, and you're flying exactly where I need you to be? Okay, 125,000 in case anyone was wondering. And it's asleep. I could tame you up with regular meats as well. But I'm pretty sure if I feed this guy... Um, pretty sure if I feed him like special alpha meat, which I don't actually know if I've got any left. I think we I think we used it all. Um, I don't know. If, I don't actually know if I can craft any either. Let's have a look. No, I don't. I can't. Wow. But I, oh, it's the prime meat. Okay. Can I get three? Just prime meat. I need prime meat. Okay, that is kind of... That's unfortunate. But I guess it is what it is. Let me find someone who can hook me up with some prime... <gasps> Actually, there's a Diplo just over here. There's a Diplo just over here. Hello. Oh, it's Brachio. Bronto. Whatever it is. It's about to die. Sorry, mate. Also, I don't really want to harvest you just yet. I'm hoping there's nothing around that's going to hurt me. I just want to hit you with this amazing thing right here. There we go. There we go. Woohoo! 125 nice 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 yep there's no more uh prime givers out here so that'll do for now that's gonna allow me to get some meat or i could just tame this pteranodon up with the meat like with the alpha the prime meat that i have but i think instead i'm just gonna go and chuck you in here and then going to see how much of this we can get probably not gonna be much it's 10 i can get 10 okay that's good i wonder if i could Oh, this is kind of like that tricky territory where it's like, how, how, like, what sort of resources do I want to blow on another Pteranodon tame? Also, he's not drowning, I hope. Uh, but essentially, if I, I'm pretty sure if I use Eternal Prime Meat instead of Alpha Meat, 
instead of prior meat, whatever. Um, I think it gains more levels when we tame it up. So he could end up just ridiculously high leveled and then just an absolute torpor machine. But then it's like that whole case of like, do I need that right now? Or are we kind of good with what we got? Yeah, that's kind of like that, that weird tricky kind of territory I'm trying to navigate. Oh, by the way, while that there crafts up, I got a bunch of stuff in here that I want to break down. So um, let's, let's salvage it. Bam. Oh, my glider suit. Yeah, I should probably bring that with me. I forgot about that. Um, sweet as 30 green crystals. Thank you so much. And then a bunch of nothing, really. Um, to salvage the rest of it as well, because why not? There we go. Have we got our meat ready? We do. There's all 10 of it. I don't need all 10 of it, but we've got 10 of it. Um, dude, you are fantastic. As excited as I was to take you for a spin, you just sit here for a second. Because I... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Bad, 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 bad. Why did I turn around? Um, I don't want to head over that way too far. Because... Oh, hello, Silica Bells. I just so happen to need you, actually. Fantastic. Um, I don't want to draw the attention of the Zomdodo. Because if I do that... Well, it's going to kill me. It's going to kill my Tyrannodon. It's just going to cause shenanigans and hijinks that I don't really need right this second. I, I say this as I swim closer towards... It's location. I'm right next to it. Oh, I didn't realize I was this far over. Okay, okay. Not good, not good, not good. <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to pop up right next to the darn thing. I, 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 I thought I was over. I thought I was close to the Pteranodon, but clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, it didn't see me though, so that's good. I didn't think it did. Pretty sure it's still over there. Then again, he might surprise me, so let's hope not. Either ways, uh, one, two, three. Is that enough? That should be. It's currently level 560. And when it teams out, well, I just want to see like what actually happens because it, it, it might gain a lot. And we're looking for something higher than a level 7, 840. 840 is what regular meat would do. I want to see what the alpha meat does instead. Also, how are you not drowning down here? Oh, no, he is kind of. Oxygen is kind of going thin. It's just got a really high oxygen. So that's, that's, that, that, that's fine. That's good. Uh, unfortunately, you're hungry, and I don't have any teeming potions on me, though. How was I so unprepared? I do want to see. Can I... Yeah, I can't grab anything from my base. I'm too far away. Hey! No! I can't just fly up to my base, though. I don't know why I think, didn't think of that. <laughs> uh, that thing's totally going to kill my Tyranodon, ain't it? No! Not good. Not good. Where are my, where are my potions? Where's my taming potions at? Thank you, my Tyranodon, whatever you do. Um, maybe I don't have any taming potions. I don't know. Ah, this is kind of bad now. Come here, dude. Come here, come here, come here. No! Leave him alone. Leave him alone. He just wants to eat his meat. All right, follow me over here, please. How much health have you got? 40,000. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take you down. If that thing doesn't take you down first. Oh, put him to sleep. Nice. Nice work. Oh, what is it? The raptor? Oh, elemental lightning velociraptor. That's a, that's cool. Um, I, hmm, I, hmm, very cool. I kind of want to tame it. <laughs> uh, it, I might not be able to. I don't know. Thing looks pretty cool. It's a velociraptor. I don't actually know what it's business is here is it, is it a part of it's a part of the Jurassic Park mod that I played like a long time ago I don't know if it's a part of the map or the mod or what it's doing here though uh but now I've just angered it big time haven't I all right I'll just let these guys do their thing I'm just trying to distract it from my pteranodon over there it's got a lot of health I can't kill it with my dude here unfortunately because I don't really have any like crazily heavy hitters right this second but that's fine my dude's eating another piece. Uh, I don't trust this. It's just way too close to my Pteranodon. I don't need that. Also, he's a lightning raptor, which means if he gets a hit on me, he's likely going to put me to sleep. So I also need to be a little wary of that. But I do deal 27,000 damage. So I'm just going to kill it. He's going to hit it with five of these. There we go. A few more. And we are well hopefully we get some loot out of it but at least my pteranodon will be safe and that is the most important thing right this second don't know how that one missed but there we go crystals thank you 
I don't know where its body went. I think it just merged into the ground, which is a little disappointing, but that's fine. All right. Are you close to like eating or are you just very full? Are you, what are you, what are you doing? How is this thing just not hungry? It's food is like literally, uh, slowly. Oh, no, put that back in there. Yeah, I guess we just got to like play the waiting game there. Unfortunately, that's cool. That's cool. While we wait for that, I'm going to have a little scope around and see what we can find. An eternal alpha phoenix, for example. I don't have any soul for it. I don't even know how to tame it, to be honest. I'm not even going to flirt with the idea. But basically, in case you can't see, we do have some loopholes. Uh, not loopholes, but we got some some gaps in our squad right here. I need a heavy hitting dinosaur or I need to evolve one or we need to just I don't know I need something that can hit heavy and that's the whole reason I'm looking at these poison dealing flyers so I can hopefully oh, there's another one over here by the way uh, Yeah, elemental poison trying out a lot. Oh, it's only level 60 this one over here. I can kill this Bam, there we go. Thanks for the crystals Maybe I just keep collecting crystals in fact uh, but I want to basically, yeah, be able to just knock something crazy out. That way I can actually get some good kills. Because currently, yeah, this Randodon, I think, is my heaviest hitter. And it's only going to last so long. Um, okay, there's a big exclamation mark on my screen. I think that's what pops up when something piggyback spawns when you kill something. I just don't know what spawned in. Just regular, just a lot of regular Triceratops out here, I guess. Unless it was like this elite dragonfly. I doubt it though. I'm gonna go and kill it just because why not? Didn't seem to drop anything for us though. There's a elemental dragonfly. Has poison, lightning beam, as well as fire. Oh, these dragonflies have like all the elements. Can also fly underwater. Only takes tall buff from trank arrows and darts. Dude, this thing is a beast. Um, can can knock out eternal alpha dinosaurs. Okay, they go quite hard. I think the dragonflies are meant to be like early game teams. I'll be honest. Uh, we kind of skipped over that. Instead, I died to them a bunch of times. Also, what is that? Hello, <laughs> Tigrex. What? Oh, that thing is majestic. Also, it's fighting a poison shadow main. Um, good for you guys, but I ain't getting caught up in that. No, thank you very much. I'm going to go back and I'm going to hopefully, hopefully claim my poison pteranodon who is hopefully tamed up by now. And then we're going to go out and look for some things or something or rather. I don't know. Let's, we'll, just, we'll just see what happens. Is my guy ready though? It's ready. And uh, it seems that these little pests here have tracked it down. All right, come up here, my dude. Come up here. What did you end up at, by the way? Level 807. Okay, so it didn't get a crazy stat buff. I probably should have just... I probably should have just got it with prime meat. But it is what it is. That's fine. That's fine. So, because I got those silica pearls, I do want to drop these in here. And get those remaining electronics that I needed. And then we'll get ourselves a our teleporter. There we go. Now, my hotbar is very, very... <laughs> I don't have a lot of room right now in my hotbar. There's so many things I want to put down there. Uh, I like my grapple bow. Even these like HP injectors, they're really handy too. But then again, so was a soul bowl thing. So it's, it's, it's kind of tricky navigating this stuff right this second. I got so much stuff that I want access to. But, well, yeah, we can only have so many items i suppose so i okay cool you read my mind you're coming straight down here let's see what you can do you big old beast here is a saddle let's see if you can deal more than 125,000 topo um who are we going to test you on is the question let's start uh eternal alpha tyrannodon should we just should we just see should we just see what it can do i can't even hit the thing oh there we go all right nice um, oh, no way. Wait, no. It might just be dealing less because it's an eternal alpha, but that's a lot less than my lightning pteranodon. I thought this thing was going to hit like a truck. Okay, that's that's interesting. Is it because of the levels? Do I not have levels? I honestly thought poison, it'll, it'll, be, it'll hit, you know, heavier than an electric or lightning, whatever it is. That's kind of like only like a part knockout dinosaur. Um, let me, let me try and hit something else. That did nothing. 
<laughs> knocked out by unknown elemental dinosaurs. Okay, so that's that's nothing. Okay, we can't knock that out there out with this guy, unfortunately. Uh, okay, disappointing. Disappointing so far. We're we really like, going to do like no torpor to this thing, though? Unless it's... Oh! I wonder if it's percentage-based. If it's like a percentage of the total torpor bar. I gotta test it on something a little with a different different like arm like I gotta test it on something else. I'm gonna test it on Ah, oh, these guys don't actually have torpor bars. Interesting. Uh what do we got over here? I can see dragonfly. I can see some triceratopses. Have we just like is this guy just gonna end up like a complete waste of a team? It is! 800? There's no way! Oh hold on. Alright, what if I see attack here? It's still not going to cut it. In fact, it's still, this guy deals solid damage. Okay, this is so back to front on what I expected out of these Pteranodons, but that's it. Like, yeah, okay, interesting. Now I want to go back to my lightning one and see if that thing's just like, maybe you're just a special dude. You're such a low level too. This is confusing. Also, you're quick. That's the thing. This guy is like a double whammy. He's fast and he knocks stuff out. Whereas the other guy was kind of slow and knocks stuff out. Um, I would like collecting all the Pteranodons here today because I kind of saw this guy right now and I, I kind of want to try and tame a prime Pteranodon all of a sudden. Um, but I can't. Okay, didn't do a talk about that. Good to know. So we can't hit prime dinosaurs. That's a thing. Um, there's a... Wow, there's a lot of these guys out here. Hey. Uh, not really vibing this area. Hello, Behemoth Quetzal. I would love to tame you, but I'm just not there. Um, dude, okay, this beach is so overpopulated. What is going on? Um, all right, let's go somewhere really different. Oh, wait, this is my old base spot. I just realized where we are. It's just all the trees are back. All right, well, let's keep moving. What's that? That looks kind of fancy. It's just a regular Stego with a really cool color scheme. But let's keep moving. I got a teleporter, so I can just teleport back to base now if I need to. Which means I can venture further than we've ever gone before. And, I don't know, work it out afterwards. Eternal Raptor. Ooh. I mean, that is the type of heavy hitter that I need. It's just only a level 100. Uh, Elemental Radiokinetic Spino. I got the meat to tame this thing. Radio uh, kinetic Tier Grants and... Uh, Anti-radiation buff to players when ridden or nearby. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, things. I mean, it's got a lot of health. It's got a lot of torpor. It only costs two meat to tame. I just... I was a little nervous about what would happen when I bit it. Yeah, look at the torpor that we are dealing on that. 100,000? Is that it? 125,000. So it's, it's still it's still 125,000. All right, then. Um, okay. That's a really... I like that attack. Only dealt 700 damage to me. I'm hoping that's because I've got a ridiculously powerful um, saddle on that blocks a lot of torpidity. But all in all, I like this. I'm, I, I think we're getting this Spino. I got to replace my old Spino after all. I missed the dude. And why not do it with a dinosaur that, I don't know, it's radiokinetic. I don't even know what that means, but it, it sounds kind of cool. And it's not that expensive to tame either. Just gotta hit him a few more times. Also, Diplo, do we need to be right here right this second, my dude? Spider, do you need to be fighting it? You're about to go to sleep. There's no point you picking that fight. Ah, uh, Dragonfly, are you kidding me? I don't actually think the Dragonfly was going for the Spino, but now he's got himself into a fight, and now I need to somehow separate them. Not ideal, not ideal, not ideal. Go away, Dragonfly, go away. 2.8 million torpor, my goodness. Oh, I think it's asleep. <laughs> just it just crawled up into the river and fell asleep sweet okay not very sweet actually piranhas oh wait can you swim underwater yes <laughs> nice <laughs> i didn't think i'd be able to on this guy i thought maybe that was just my eternal alpha oh hello guys welcome die stinker piranhas nobody likes you nobody likes you there we go all right good we're safe let's do it have two pieces of meat there's one and there's the other and we've got out of a spider all right get soul bold my dude we will take you for a spin 
in the in soon in soon i'm not ready to go back to base just yet but i really want to see what that spino can do all right let's keep moving Ooh, a little baby spino hey cute <gasps> what is that armored spinosaur wait what what is that i've never seen one of these before what is what sorry oh um Okay, bear with me. 30,000 damage? I was going to say something hit me and just do 30,000 damage to me. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming Mr. Armored Spinosaurus max level, by the way. Also, oh my goodness, there's a lightning spino. Oh, okay, we have found, we have found where to... Did I just look at a poo or was there a poo being thrown at me? There's another armored spino just over here too. What? Like, I, 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 ah, uh, these things are cool. <laughs> oh, what? Are you joking? I was nowhere near it. What? Um, okay then. How? How did that just happen? Are you serious? I mean, obviously, but like, what just happened? It ro I was like, I was, I was so far away from the darn thing. Um, okay. I, I don't, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous all of a sudden. I, here I was getting all excited. Like I'm going to tame this thing. And I just got annihilated by it. I was full health just about. What? Like, I, I, I don't get it. How much damage does it deal? Also, it, I think it's, it looks pretty bloody. Something's kind of giving it a good, uh, something's killing that one, but that's not the one that killed me. This one over here is the one that killed me. Um, and I don't even know if I'm too close to it here. The reason though... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't know my dude was so stacked with inventory. Um, the reason I'm over here with my alpha tyrannid on right this second... Oh, there's the tame helper that I was looking for. Is because this thing has this amazing uh, 230 armor saddle that I'm pretty sure can protect us from most things. Uh, maybe... But I don't know if I can protect us from this Spino. I kind of needed to though, because I gotta get my items back. Um, and I, I don't know how to do that. I, I have no idea. How much health have I got? I got 152,000 health. All right, make that 155,000 health. If I, I, I need to, I need to test this just for experimental sake. Unfortunately, though, if this goes wrong, we're gonna lose our strongest, most usable team. So I'm quite far away from the thing. In fact, I might be all right. It's, if it does its roar attack, I think is when things went horribly wrong before. So as long as it doesn't get angry with me for doing this, I think we're good. This is a little test here. Okay, that was just the saddle. All right. Oh, man. My whole plan piggybacked off the back of that Pteranodon and now it's dead. That actual hurts so bad. That sucks so bad. I don't know what to do with these. I want one. I want to tame it. Like it's 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 amazing. They're amazing. I forgot there's two of them. Um Ah. Oh. Dude, this thing here is actually pretty banged up already. 70, 776. But I guarantee I guarantee if I if I swoop it, it's gonna have it's armored. I'm not gonna be able, gonna be able to do much damage to it. The armor tier can only be knocked out by prime elemental dinosaurs. I don't have any of those. Or prime tranks and above. Immune to all else. Uses the vanilla spino saddle. What tranks have I got? I got these ones. I got eternal alpha poison arrows. I don't have prime ones, unfortunately. Which means I can't tame one of these even if I wanted to. Might be able to kill one. But I definitely can't tame it. Okay, that's fine. Hold on a second. There is that. <laughs> there is a lightning spider over there that's got my attention, but no, no, no. I'm just going to ignore that for the time being. Um, see, there are so many terminals on this map. It's crazy. I'm going to take what I've got. I'm going to head back home. I'm just trying to think about how to approach this thing. For one, maybe my spino could be the ticket out of this. Maybe I can. Ooh, maybe I can use my Dunkleo. Dunkleos are known to bite rocks. Maybe that's the reason I tamed a Dunkleo. I doubt it, but maybe. Either ways, I need a Spino saddle. I want to. I got. I got to see what my radio kinetic dude can do. But on top of that, also, I need a Dunk Leo Stay a saddle. All right, I'm actually gonna test this out. This might be really dumb. 
<laughs> um, but if it's not, it might just be genius. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if this is dumb or genius. I'm going to find out in just a second. <laughs> There's no way this works. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Let's go and ground the Dunkleo. Let's go and tell me I brought the saddle. Tell me I brought the saddle. Dude. All right, you're just moving to the water. Smart. Very, very smart. I don't have the saddle though, do I? What is wrong with me? How did I not bring the saddle? All right, be back in a second. I didn't grab either saddle. What is wrong with me? All right. Now, back to the last remote location. Probably going to get bitten by something when we get there, but we're going to hope that that's not the case. Where's my Pteranodon? Did I... Oh, my goodness. Did I... I don't actually know if I... I don't actually know. I have no idea where it is. All right. Don't clear. I'm stuck inside of you. Take a saddle and let me ride you. All right. Nice. Can we... <laughs> uh, I don't know what I expected. I can't control it across the land. Uh, I must have teleported my Pteranodon back with me. But I... Or, or it's out here somewhere. Uh, this isn't really working. What, what did I think would happen here? What did I think would happen? Can I... I don't have a... I don't have a... Dang it! I don't have a thing! This is such a bad idea. What am I even doing? I thought I had a pickup item and I just put the pickup item on it and then pick it up and then throw a little closer to this guy over here, but that clearly didn't work. Um, nor was I prepared for, I guess. Let's just hope that nothing attacks us while I make this run. I just got to get it into this water. Ride it. And we're not deep enough, but we can bite. <laughs> we're totally about to die. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even get close to it. <laughs> Dude, that thing is insane. Uh, anyways, I'm going to end this one here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one soon. Bye for now.